you're trending nationally. Uh, and uh, some of your comments about the, the environmental, 17-year-old environmental activist, uh, Greta uh, Thunberg. I, I just w would like to get, I, I know you were just joking about um, some comments, but I think it's a serious issue. And, and what I think is somewhat serious is that she has been elevated to a position, whether it's from Time magazine or being a finalist in the Nobel Peace, whatever you want to call it, she's here to great fanfare. Is that a commentary on anything, do you think, about Davos or about where we are in the world in general and in terms of, of climate alarmism, et cetera? Well, let me just comment, because obviously the climate issue is something that is being talked about this week. And I think, quite frankly, our environmental policies are misunderstood. The president absolutely believes in clean air and clean water. He supports a clean environment. He announced this week the support of the Trillion Tree Initiative, which will have an important uh, impact on emissions. And what the president has said is he got out of the Paris Agreement, not because he doesn't like the environment, but because it was a bad deal. It was unfair for the U.S. And if you look at the real environmental issues right now, uh, they are in China, they are in India. If you look at what the U.S. has been doing on its own without government intervention, uh, industry has gotten a lot more efficient on carbon emissions. And I, I just want to put this in perspective. Uh, again, climate change is something that should be discussed. Well, it, there, but there are a lot of other important issues. And I just put right, this in right. context. But I think the president obviously. actually said the, the prophets of doom that, that have been proven wrong again and again in, in the past, referring to some of the alarmists that, and we do see, we've had, I mean, long ago, the, the, the ice caps were supposed to have melted by the year 2005. There was, the, you know, our children weren't going to see any snow. The, the Malthusian bets have never paid off. So the, is the current, we've got a two-year or a five-year window to prevent the total demise of, of civilization? It is, I mean, is it, do you believe that we're that close? No, to, no, I, I don't believe we're that close. And what I would just comment is, there are a lot of other important issues. Obviously, this health issue and what's going on, the potential of, of health issues spreading, uh, right. nuclear proliferation. Clean air, uh, if you look particulate at, pollution. If you look at the water. Middle East, the president has made very clear Iran can never have a nuclear weapon. Mm -hmm. Nothing against the climate issue. That's a much better risk. Uh, it's much bigger risk right. today. And I think that the youth needs to understand climate is one issue that needs to be put but, in but context me, with lots of other things. Let me ask you a question. We had Jamie Dimon sitting in the seat that you're in uh, right now, or just yesterday, he said that he was an advocate for a carbon tax with a dividend, for example. Satya Nadella last week announced a program that will cost that company material, real money, to, to produce a carbon negative uh, corporation. Do you think that they are mistaken, if well, not worse, given the commentary that the president and others have made? Look, I, I have a, I respect both of them in running of their businesses. I would say they have different policy views than we view. We don't believe there should be carbon taxes. We want to cut taxes. We think that industry can deal with this issue on its own, is dealing with this. And this is a worldwide issue that's a much bigger problem outside of the U.S. than inside the U.S. at this point. The president point. has said, though, that he does not believe that carbon dioxide is ultimately the problem. And the, the thing that I was trying to understand is then he obviously signed on to this uh, trillion tree program. Why would he do that? Well, again, I, I think they're, it, it's both correct. He doesn't believe that's the problem. On the other hand, obviously planting a trillion trees is a good thing for the planet. So there, there's no question. You, 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 it, it, but it if carbon's not thing. a problem, then you, you wouldn't need to, do, to be planting the trees. Well, first of all, trees are being cut down at, at, at paces all around. I mean, having forests, creating trees, I think these are all good things. But I, I go back to what you said. This is not the doom and gloom issue okay, that is going to impact everybody in the next 10 years. It is an issue that should be considered, along with a lot of important issues. The national security issues of what's going on in the Middle East and the president's uh, addressing this. Again, we're much more focused on Iran not having nuclear weapons.